Hey everyone, T1 Glistener Elf, and I'm going to be jamming a game of Vintage against Sinister, aka Carmenova, aka Carmenova of the Hidden Leaf. Alright, so, by the way, so what I'm running, you'd think I'd be running in fact. That's what I've been running in the Vintage League, but I do not anticipate being able to make it all the way through because of how busy I am. So I had played something very not serious. This is my Taking Turns deck for uh, from the Gauntlet. Upgraded a little bit, souped up. It has God Eternal Kefnet, which I hear is pretty good when you're trying to take turns. Shoutouts to Kefnet as an excellent win condition in the deck. And mine, my opponent is on Ravager Shops, just traditional, good old fashioned Ravager Shops. So uh, my opponent said, Karmanova said he'll keep. No, it's a he, da da da. You know, I'm gonna say keep. This is a this is a slow hand. I'm o I think it's fine. I also know I'm up against shops, so, you know. Yeah, let's hope there's not a chalice on zero. That would be... that would be fun. Alright. What you gonna do? Shoutouts to Evangeline. This is the... This is the art I had made for. Um, well not I made, but you know. Commission, there we go. Alright. Sapphire? Gonna have to remember my uh, my responses here, cause I'm on a blue deck. Black Lotus, hello. Man, they are loading awfully slowly. It seems there's been an update to Untap, so when you see them do that, I, uh, what well, can you? I can't do anything about it as far as I'm aware. All right, Ancient Tomb. Alright, what are we doing? So that's up to six mana. What's this? Thorn? Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem. I'm gonna say that's good. That's alright. Black Lotus. Uh oh. Lodestone. Black. Lodestone. Yeah, that's good. Alright. So th this is not quite as bad as it looks. It's pretty bad, but it's not. Too bad, so let me make sure I remember my hotkeys. Okay, cool. So, we can go turn one land. Hello, there we go. Uh, the Moxen cost one more. They only cost one more, because uh, happens to be the case that Lodestone Golem doesn't charge extra for artifacts. Just the non-artifacts. So, get this one out as well. Look at this sloppy field. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is terrible looking. Uh, if I need to, I can drop a Snapcaster just to chump, but uh, I, don't, I think it's E is in turn, but since I forgot, I'm just going to click. Oh, hello. Oh, my camera's freaking out. <laughs> Ooh. I, it keeps trying to detect me and the painting, both. It's trying to, uh, you know, facial recognition, I guess. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Come sideboard, I have four Hercules Recall and four Energy Flux to bring in. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to say no response. Alright. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess that means I just take it. Doot, 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 doot. It's a very technical term. Doot. Alright. See what we have going on after this. Something. Show me Ballista. No, not Ballista. That, that would have been played earlier. Show me uh, Hangerback Walker. That's what I meant to say. Alright. I mean, that is in the list, right? Yeah, two Hangerback Walkers. Eh. Alright. Ooh, okay. That's a, that's a problem. That's a factory. So, paying three. Four. Uh, Chief? Foundry Inspector? Chalice? Chalice on one? That's a... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> one of tribal. One of tribal. Nice. Actually, is Mishra's... Is that actually a one of in here, too? No, no, it's not. Alright, still. Alright, so untap everything. Draw. Okay. Well... Play an island. 
and I guess that I'll pass the turn. Hi everyone! Hello! Alright. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. At least we have a bit of time. Hero to everyone. I don't know. Everyone. Alright, so I'm taking seven. Yeah, oh, oh no, no, one too many. Alright, so that means that this fetch land is right out. Oh, Jay, no! Oops. It's okay, it's okay. I, I did mess up, though. Uh, because I should have sent out the Snapcaster Mage to block. I'm kind of in autopilot right now, though. Not that that's a good reason. Ah! I would be dead next turn anyway, wouldn't I? Let's see. Let's say that I threw out the Snapcaster, taking five, six... No, I would have... I would have lived. I would have lived. Oh, well. Hi. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. I have to do all seven of them. Alright, send that away. Find a card. Find one of my islands, one of my islands. Look at this nice looking field. Alright, drop it. Hello? That was weird. Hello? Okay. Worth. Alright. Next turn. Nailed it. Alright. So we're, we're dead here, though. We're dead. Draw. That's uh, a little slow. Little slow. I forgot to flash in Snappy Boy to block. Oh well. Not on my <laughs> A game right now. Not on my A game right now. I can't see that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Game two. Alright. So, sin well, beat me to it. Beat me to it. Huh. They switched. Now the sideboard's on the left side. Well, that's weird. Okay, so I have nine cards I can bring in. Damping Sphere, Energy Flux. Let me just do this real quick. Whee! Energy Flux, and Hercules Recall. So Damping Sphere is for Paradoxical Outcome, but on the play it can do something against uh, against shops. It can do something nice against shops. Uh, Force of Will is not great in this. It's just not, unfortunately. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I took out a Kefnet. Oops. Scooch you over here. Not that it matters. It's getting bisected anyway. Alright. So that's that's easy. And let me see if I have any other, or what other counter spells I have. I might actually not have any others. Sapphire Medallion. Anything to play against their sphere effects is pretty nice. Sensei's Divining Top. You know, honestly, Jace, uh, Baby Jace might come out. No, no, I, th I still think I need to keep Baby Jace in. One, two, and then take out two of the extra turn spells. 
Anyone play EDH? Uh, I, I do. It's admittedly not my most played format, for sure. Um, hmm. This is tricky. This is tricky. Could also take out preordains. Two preordains. That seems a little greedy. Uh, but I'm on the play, so I can definitely get it out before Chalice on one. And that's maybe worth something. So I'm going to take out one Jace Friends Prodigy. And a Preordain. Still leaves me with two more to go. And I don't have... This isn't the Mystical Tutor version. That would be nice. Aww. Hmm. <laughs> Shoutouts to Carmenova for... I, I was joking around saying, because of when this is recorded, that we I went and raided Area 51. Said, making everyone proud. True dat. Alright, here goes nothing. Alright, so yeah, this is dumb. This is not what you're supposed to do, folks. You're supposed to take out some number of your uh, extra turn spells. You're not supposed to take out preordains like that. I may have lowered my curve just a lot. Just a whole lot. Oh! Oh, but we're on the play, so this is this is keepable. There's a Sapphire, a Pearl. Because it's Sapphire, it can get Recall. And then we can just start going to town. There's an Energy Flux. Now, trick to Energy Flux is I need to actually... Well, I don't know that I... Let's say that I, I find uh, Sapphire, Ancestral Recall, Black Lotus, drop the Lotus, I think that's actually still fine, even though I won't be able to... Like, my, I will be in a bit of a pickle if I don't find lands, but it'll take so long. Oh, keep them all? I'll keep. I will absolutely keep. Mole, yikes. Okay, try again, my friend. Do what you gotta do. It's always nice when you have an Ancestral Recall in hand, and this becomes a 9-card opener. I'd say a 9-card opener is fine. Keep. Alright, cool. Um, hey, okay, there we go. Got there. Fire away. Target me. As if there's any doubt. Alright, draw, draw. Draw. Draw! Monster card! Not exactly. Not exactly. Time walk? One of <laughs> tribal as well. Alright. Draw again. Oh, hello! Hello! Should I start going off now? Honestly, I, I want to. I want to so badly. I Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Just do it! <laughs> this is turn one, sort of. All right. Well... Hmm. Yup. <laughs> yup. We're doing it. We. This is so stupid. This is the stupidest thing. Oh, okay. Now, uh, this energy flux is getting a little awkward. Just a little bit. Oh, hello. Because the deck actually runs a fair number of artifacts. I 
There's a top. Um, huh. So the soul ring can pay for itself. No matter what, the soul ring will always be able to pay for itself. Um, it's a little awkward. But you do what you have to do. Digging for the out, lol. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. Alright. Um, I'm gonna wait. I'm debating if I'd like to play out the Soul Ring. There's not really much of a reason to play the Soul Ring. So I'm just going to pass the turn. And let you draw creature card. You don't recognize that. I, I, it's a, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh meme um, from the anime. One of those like, uh, what does Pot of Greed do? Happened in the anime, but it's so stupid. Jokes. No, I did actually have the energy flux in hand though, so in the opener. Hey! Rip. 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 Ripperoni. Oh, hello. Get in there. That's what she said. Alright. Draw a card. Oh, okay. This is, this is fine. That means that now we have enough to play the top. Spin the top. Shake it. Look at the top three. Yeah. Make sure I'm doing that correctly. It's been it's been a hot minute since I've been on here. What's that? A snap? Jeez. Well, it's, I'm just I'm just gonna let it rip. No, I'm not, because I don't have the lands to do it. Uh huh. We're actually just gonna fetch, as it turns out. Not, not feeling it. Find card. Take this, put it out. And, uh, and then shuffle. Cool, there we go. Got there. And then pass turn. Stick these right down here. Okay, that's a thing. That's that's a thing. It is possible that I I don't find something and find it in time. And by it I mean like a Kefnet, Jace, or other Jace. All right, still still your turn. So, what you got? Oh, there's a crypt. Okay. Response. Uh, shake it. All right, so we're gonna do this again. No, okay, cool. So we're we're good with that. Got to make me do it. Um. I don't dislike that. That even that order is actually okay. Yeah, we're gonna say that's fine. No response. Cool. Sensei's divining top. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm assuming that they're gonna know what that means. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, draw a card.
I'm gonna crack this anyway because I know what the next card is. But uh, now I now I wait. Let the opponent do his thing. What you gonna do? All right. Yeah, upkeep shenanigans. Gonna pay that. Okay, that's fair. It's gonna keep me a turn off of my top, which is definitely fair. Absolutely. If you can find another land, I'll take two. Blip, blip. Yeah, no Dried Arbors in this deck. No surprise. Dryad Arbor. Oh, that's a Wasteland. Okay. Now, Wasteland has, I think, actual one target in this deck, and it's Strip Mine. Well, it's Fetch Lands, but not... Yeah. Alright, so passing it over to me. Um, UT thinking. So I can crack the fetch here, because I know what my next card is. And it's nothing spectacular. It's another fetch land. Um, they're going to have to pay two using the creature land, the land folk, in order to keep the revoker. Which they're going to do. I'm not sure. Probably should, right? Probably... No, no, there's a ponder. So if I if I keep waiting, there's a ponder. Alright. My turn. Just to let him know what's going on. Alright, draw. Gee, you wonder what that is? Alright. And then... Pass the turn. Let me check the hotkeys real quick. I think it's E is pass turn. Yep, it is. Okay, cool. Hello. Got there. Yeah, the shops player, you have to know about energy. You have to know how to play energy flux. Although, to be fair, if Carmenova just messes up, just forgets to tap, but would have tapped, I'm I'm fine with going back. All right, ponder, do your thing. Also, I made a new friend. It's right over there. It's chilling around me. Hmm. All right, still thinking. Still stinking. All right, draw. Gee, I wonder what that is. All right, so obviously Ponder's gonna do its work, its magic. Let's see. And because I know the matchup, no response. Look at the top three. Where is Kefnet? Can I please, please find Kefnet? Where in the world is Kefnet San Diego? Huh. Huh. So energy flux is, uh, another energy flux is awkward. Because it won't do anything against the factory. Ooh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, folks. If I give that up, if I give up the top... Well, right now I can't use the top anyway. So it, it's probably okay to play the energy flux here and give up the top. And I probably top, better, top deck better than my opponent. I believe that that's safe to say. There's not really a way that I can play this now. And I know the next card is Island. Don't let me forget, folks. So we're going to put this in our grave, not let it sit there the whole time, like a barbarian, and then pass the turn. Paying for it, as you do. T. 
Taking two. Oh yeah. Now since this dividing top is just a one of, so once I lose this, it's gone for good. Ooh, okay. I guess that that's fair. Um, Sepena. <laughs> All right. Hello. Other direction, please. All right. Let's find a cat. Find a cat. Gee, I wonder what it's going to be. Yeah, wasteland uh, doesn't doesn't get to do very much. Poor thing. All right. Duro. Ooh, uh, yet another one. Okay. Well, I mean. What can you do? I guess I'll play it. Energy flux again. Alright. And then I will uh, pass the turn. Hello? Oh no! Yeah, I was gonna say you're fine. I was going to say. Yeah. Now they're on the beat you down with a tutu plan. Five turn clock, well, six turn clock until it attacks. It's going to attack. Six turn clock, let's go. Now, it's a little, it's a little funny, but with the upkeep trigger on the stack, I'm going to uh, spin the top to see if I can find something, and then make my decision as to whether I'm going to uh, as, as, as to whether I'm going to keep it. Let's see how much time. Ah, eh, we have enough time on the card. Me say, take your time. I'm in no rush. Checking out my messages. <laughs> Oh, this is now I'm out of coffee. All right, now it's now it's a really disadvantaged match. Although, although that huge misplay with the Snapcaster earlier was with an almost full cup of coffee, so can't get any worse. All right. Yep. Animate. Hi ya. Taken two. All right. Yeah, we're in a pretty great shape here. What is that? A f workshop? Aha! Uh -huh. Poor workshop. Poor workshop. I'm in danger, says whatever this thing cast. Alright, what you got? I'm curious to see. Now, another thing that I could do is I can save my top by putting it on top of the deck and then playing it and drawing with, or uh, doing its shuffle as well. Ooh, another revoker. Alert response. If I spin the top here, I have to crack my fetch land. Is that okay? You're, you're playing it as well as I think you honestly can. I really do. I believe that it's correct for me to crack this here. Hello. Get another island. So many islands. Alright. Shake. Just to let him know what's going on. Look at the top three cards. Can I please? Okay, that's a uh, that's a Jace. I hear Jace is okay. Um, since I'm about to potentially lose this top anyway, let's go. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we'll do Jace first. Jace gets to go first. They literally can't pay for both these creatures now anyway. Right. Draw, and then stick it back on top. 
Alright. Now they can name whatever the heck they would like. Alright. Oh, they didn't even bother naming it. Uh, what would you like to name... Alright. I'm assuming this is doesn't matter. <laughs> Top. Cool. Alright, so now I can actually do this. <laughs> Yay! Alright, moving those around. Uh huh. Alright. Chase. The mind sculptor. Now, I maybe should fate seal here. And the reason that I say maybe I should fate seal is that if they happen to have or top deck another factory, I lose my Jace if I brainstorm. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, add counter. One, two, three. Oh, hello. Hello. How did I do this again? Just click. Yeah, there we go. I just need to not mash. Uh, targeting you. Cool. Hopefully this will work out. Oh crap. You know what I just realized? I don't know how to do this. Look at top one card. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we are. Um... How do I do this? Deck. Bottom of the deck. I think it sends a request. Okay, there we go. Make sure I'm not abusing anything. I guess. Alright, so that, that would be a problem because if they sacked it, they would get a bunch of tokens. Uh, well, they, they wouldn't get to attack with the tokens anyway, though, so I probably should have kept that, as it turns out. Um, no need to cast the top here. It actually would be worse for me if I cast the top. So, uh, which one would you like to keep? Actually, no, there's no way to keep the Revoker here. There's literally not enough mana right now. So Revoker be gone. Alright. A little out of sequence, but that's fine. We got there. It happens. It happens. There's an ancient tomb. Ooh. Hello. Six mana. <gasps> oh no! And they can kill it! Ouch. Click, click, and then doing it now. Alright, so even with the safe play, I still got punished. Well, it happens. Yeah, what can you do? What can you do, folks? Not a lot. I mean, Jace turned into a nice little fog, though. I guess there's that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we'll untap everything, draw a card. It's capture! Yay! Uh, do we do capture now? No, we, let's play the top first. Play the top. Spin the top. This will take a while, oh, this will take a while. Yeah, if I win, this game goes on for a hot minute. Oh, jeez. Well, that's pretty bad. We'll keep and then shuffle next turn. But that's pretty, that's pretty terrible. Yeah, yeah, what can you do? Can't do it now because I'd lose my top. So, we'll, uh, we'll pass the turn, I guess. Move it right along. Man, am I about to lose with two energy fluxes out against shops? This is one reason why they play Mishra's Factory. Yeah, it, it lets you play around stuff like that. It lets you get a little bit more aggressive, too. 
your clock gets ever so slightly faster. And it's an artifact for Ravager and yada yada yada. It's fine. Has revealed hand to... Oh yeah, I'll do that too. Uh... Spectator 1. Alright, cool. Uh, what's going on? I, I honestly don't know. Oh, thinking. Okay. There we go. We got there. It's like he read my mind. May have to go and get some water after this. Or at least refill the coffee cup. Something like that. Yeah, as you do. As you do. Stay in the shot. Stay in the shot, Jay. <laughs> I'm not doing anything and I'm having fun. Yeah. Yeah. This janky homebrew. Janky homebrew. Uh. Don't let me forget. I'm supposed to spin the top before it comes around to my turn. Don't let me forget, folks. Don't let me forget. It only costs one additional mana. As in, of course, uh, over if there were no energy fluxes. <laughs> because of energy flux, it saves me three mana. I'd say that that's okay. We're getting entirely too close, though. I, if I can help it, I would like to see if I can find a Kefnet first. Um, that would be real nice. Yeah. Yeah. Kefnet so that I can put the capture on top of my deck and I can keep putting it on top of my deck uh, so that I never run out of turns is the idea. Now Kefnet's a two of and honestly as good as it is in the context of this deck maybe it could even be a three of. Okay. Buddy, buddy, chill. Uh, okay, I saw something happen. Alright, we're doing stuff. We're undoing stuff. <laughs> Evangeline, I don't even know what's going on now. Yeah, I called her today and told her about the lizard that I found uh, in the carport. Just crawled into a bag. And of course it didn't want to go. Ooh, that's a Mystic Forge. Ooh. I'm gonna say no response. Very interesting. Inter... Resting. Wow. Let's see. Very interesting. What you got? Yeah, I don't have a lot. <laughs> yeah, Mystic Forge. Super good. But this is a weird spot for it. Um... They're about to get in a spot where if they don't find another land, they're going to have to pay all four, you know, Waste Waste Ancient Tomb, leaving just the factory, just to keep the Mystic Forge out. Which is not a bad play. Uh, Ravager. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to say no response. Cool. Yep. How much are you hitting me with? Alright. Yeah, the, the clock is getting really close. We are... Yep. Alright, sacking him. Taking four. Uh-oh. Well, the fetch is off. The fetch is right out now. Uh... EOT. Wait, if the fetch is out... So the top of my deck is Fetchland, Fetchland, Mox. 
If I go for the Mox... No, I can't. I can't, because of Energy Flux. Um, yeah, we're just going to do this. Alright, cool. Don't have to pay for it. Don't have to pay a thing. Thinking. I can get a lot of trouble for this. Yeah, if I fetch and it doesn't work out, I'm just dead. No response to the land, yeah. Well, we may not get to do any Kefnet shenanigans this game. Or we might. It's only a 4-4 and Kefnet's a 4-5. Alright. That's, that's good. So then, play you. Alright, we're doing it. I'm all in. Are you ready to have video proof that you beat two energy fluxes. Alright. So we're doing, uh, well, we gotta find the card first. Probably. Alright, so shuffle. Make sure I do that correctly. Alright, so what do we have? Look at the top three. Oh my goodness. Uh... Wow. Wow. There aren't even... There's only... There's 33 cards left in my deck. This is what happens when you take out your preordains, folks. This is what happens. <laughs> Let's make it three, just for shiggles. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we're not quite dead yet, actually. Not quite dead. Alright. Let's see. So draw. Put it back on top. Untap everything. Draw. Not dead yet. We're probably dead, but we get to dig one card deeper. Look at the top three. What is it? Let's make it three, just because we can. Good games. <laughs> All in the deck. Gonna reveal it to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll, I'll keep going. Keep revealed to player two. Man. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't even get to take infinite turns with Kefnet and Top. LOL. I was so close. Alright, the deck needs to be reconfigured. More tops, more Kefnet, so that we can go infinite that way. That's absolutely what we're going to be on about. <laughs> this is so stupid. Alright. Yeah. Good games, man. Good games.
made a 4-4 four, four, or Karn into Tormod's Crypt to kill Snapcaster. Playtime last turn. Oh, okay. You made the right call. Yeah, hindsight and all that. Hey, get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Let me just swap my nose real quick. Alright. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. There it is. There it is! <laughs> Double lands on top. Oi. GG's. Alright. Achievement, uh, let's say achievement unlocked. Is that how it goes? Because I'm totally a modern gamer. Achievement unlocked. Triple energy flux. <laughs> Win. Jeez. Alright. Karm. You're cool. You played that, you played that really well. Alright. That's it. Take care. Okay. In the future, Future J, watching this, and all of you, if you're going to build this deck, take out some number of extra turns, add in another Kefnet, probably just one more Kefnet, as good as it is, just one more, add in two more tops, and... Uh, so, so 10 extra turn spells, plus 1 Kefnet, plus 2 tops. Because once you have Kefnet and top out, you can take infinite turns anyway. You just keep putting the, one of them on top of your deck. Or just keep balancing it on top of your deck. So... Oh no, wait a minute! No, 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 no. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Kefnet's is, you reveal the first card you draw. You don't reveal it and then draw it. Okay, so never mind, never mind. Alright. Ignore me. Ignore me. I'm tired. Jace. Jace brainstorming. That's how you take the infinite turns. Uh... His top stays at one. Jace mind sculptor go- No, it's fine. Alright. Take care, everybody. I will see you all later. Bye-bye!